We're at PDAC 2018. I'm here with Peter Klossi of CBLT. Peter, why has cobalt gone up over 400% over the past two years? Basic economic supply and demand. Demand is increasing, supply is falling, and at risk in the supply chain. 60% of the world's cobalt comes out of the Congo. And I don't know if there's anybody who suffered more on the planet than the Congolese. Since King Leopold showed up in the late 1800s, that poor area, the world has had the, just the life beat out of it. But it's having the life beat out of it because there's so many minerals in the ground that the imperialists are fighting for. Right now, it's copper and cobalt. There's a limited supply of cobalt. The supply chain out of the Congo is weak. There aren't many other places in the world that produce it. And as a result, demand has been going up. Demand's also increasing because uh, cobalt is used in the, the cathode of lithium ion batteries. And do you think we're gonna sell fewer or more electric cars next year? The answer is more. Electric toothbrushes, power tools, laptops, anything that has a lithium ion battery in it for rapid charge discharge needs cobalt. There's more cobalt than lithium in your cell phone battery. So the world needs cobalt. Uh, basic laws of supply and demand have just pushed the price up. Where's it going to go and where's it going to end? Well, cobalt's up almost 400%, as you say, since February of 2016. Our call is for roughly $50 by the end of the year, but the wild card here is the supply chain. Amnesty International, the Enough Project, um, are agitating for the imposition of an external ethical supply chain. We've recently seen Apple indicate that we'll only buy cobalt from ethical sources. If the formalization of an ethical supply chain takes place, then there really is no cap on where cobalt will go. That ethical supply chain will knock so much of the cobalt out of the supply chain, prices will spike. Thanks for stopping by. Nice to see you again.